Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I really hope you're all well. If this face and outfit looks familiar, that would be because I've already filmed a video today, which went up a little while ago, but I'm filming a second one. So this is just wild. What a time to be alive. Welcome back to my channel. I really hope you're all well today. I'm here with another unboxing video. This isn't an unboxing of first impressions as I've actually already opened these probably about a month or two ago, but I've not worn them yet, and you will see why shortly, because it will make a lot of sense. But just before I went on my epic trip, I uh, went on the net -a porter sale just to browse. Wasn't intending on buying anything. And I found this pair of boots, and honestly, the discount on these was absolutely insane. So I thought I'd be stupid to pass it up, and they're the perfect pair of winter boots for where I live, so that's why I'm showing you. These will be of specific interest to you if you enjoy walking, hiking, outdoor pursuits, and you want something that's gonna keep your feet warm and dry in the winter. But they also look stylish and it's fashionable as well, so keep your eyes peeled to this video if that sounds like you. In the net -a porter sale this summer, I picked up a pair of boots from Sorrel. Now, I first heard of Sorrel on, I think it was Emma Hill's video when she went to Canada. And I want to say it was Sorrel boots that she was wearing. It might not have been, but I think it was. And she was talking about how comfortable they were, how well they kept her feet warm, the fact that they were waterproof and everything else. And I kind of filed that information away thinking, you know, this might benefit us at a later date. Maybe we'll get into hiking who knows and then I actually ended up moving home to Wales as you guys will know if you followed my channel for a little while I'm currently living back with my family I'm saving for property I'm saving for this big move that I've got planned so because I'm in Wales obviously our climate here is very cold in the winter it's very wet it's very muddy and because we have four dogs as well we do walk a lot we do go to the beach and I do find every single winter my feet get absolutely freezing no matter what boots I wear whether I'm in really sensible winter autumn winter like leather boots whether I'm in trainers like whatever I'm in my feet are always perpetually cold to the point where I'm wearing like three or four pairs of socks some days because it's agony so I thought this might actually help me this winter to keep my feet warm to keep them dry and they'll be like a good option for when we go to the beach they'll be a good option for when we're walking in the field etc so anyway I stumbled across these. They should have been 220 pounds, I think, and I found them for 50. Exceptionally good discount. Um, so I wanted to just unbox them now and just show you guys what they look like in case you're wanting any kind of sensible winter boot recommendations or if you're after something similar. I will try and link to these, by the way, in the down bar. I don't know if they're still available and I'm not sure if they're still on sale, but um, I'll link to these and I will also link to some other options from Sorrel via Netta Porter so that you guys can have a look and see what they offer. Okay, so these are, I'm just looking at the side of the box to make sure I get the name right. These are the Whisper Tall boots. And these are in a UK 5, which is a women's 7 in the US. So I think I had to look at US sizing for these. Everything I'm wearing at the moment seems to be a 5, even though my feet are actually a size 4. It's a very strange conundrum, but I think this is because these had limited sizing in stock as well. And I think I actually recommended to size up, but I can't remember. But another piece of interesting information on the side of the box, which I just wanted to share with you, is that these are apparently rated up to minus 32 degrees so i don't know if that means i'm guessing that means that they're going to keep your feet warm up to minus 32 degrees which is crazy and i don't see how that's possible but it's what it says on the box maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm right who knows anyway these are the boots so as you can see they are this gorgeous tan colored leather i haven't sprayed them yet they're apparently waterproof but i am going to spray them with protective spray as well just to really seal that waterproofness in so they have a really good grip on the soles as you can see here so obviously if you're going hiking or if you're walking somewhere and it's likely to be slippy in the winter these are going to really really help you to not slip and fall which i definitely need because last year I slipped and fell and I fractured my coccyx, which was just honestly agonizingly painful and I never, ever, ever want to fall on my ass ever again. So um, yeah, these are gonna come in handy for me this winter. But yeah, they have this really nice thick rubber grippy sole, which is really gonna hang on to those slippery surfaces. All of the lining, um, all of the outside obviously is completely waterproof. So these they lace right up and these come to about your mid calf. Now I've tried these on obviously um, because I needed to make sure they fit it before I left, before I went away. Um, again, on the label here, it does say temperature rating minus 32. So maybe we are gonna have to say that these protect your feet up to minus 32, which is crazy. Kind of explains the hefty price tag. They're also, um, I don't know if this is actual wool line or if this is like faux wool line, but they are lined as well with like this fluffy 
firm material and this goes all the way down so that it's going to keep your feet really nice and toasty in the winter. I would still wear these with a pair of socks as well just to really like trap that heat in you know. But yeah, they're super comfortable. I did find them a little bit tricky to get on the first time. I have quite a high instep on my foot and I found that getting my foot in like about this point, it became a little bit difficult. So you really need to like unlace them to um, be able to get your feet in sometimes. I think that will ease with wear though when the leather becomes a little bit more malleable and a little bit softer. Although it is soft, but I think because the lining's so thick on them as well, um, that it's gonna take maybe a few wears for them to really soften and kind of like not mold to my feet, but get used to my feet, you know? But yeah, so these are the sorrel, I hit, my head and hit myself on the head of the laces. These are the sorrel whistler tall boots. So they also come, I believe, in an ankle height boot as well, which looked really cute. I wanted something to go higher up my leg just because if I'm wearing a skirt or whatever, they'll look quite nice, you know, in the winter with the skirt, they'd look nice over jeans and stuff too. So I thought because I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of them like that, that I would get the slightly taller pair. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited to wear these. I'm excited to see how warm they keep my feet. Give it a month or so and they're probably all you're going to see on my feet to be honest because it does get so so cold in the UK uh, around this time of year. I'm just waiting for the temperature to drop further now. I'm already at the point where I'm really cold at night so it's not far away unfortunately. Um, but yeah that is a quick little unboxing video for you. If you have any questions for me please do leave them in the comments. If you have enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up as well. Let, also let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe if you are new. I will see you in another video very soon. Bye guys.